Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. New Jersey is a beautiful place to shoot a movie. And now the film industry has another incentive to come back to the state. Sherry Carabin explains. Thanks, Larry. Mountains, oceans, big city and small town scenes. Those are just a few of the reasons filmmakers and content producers choose to come to New Jersey. But for a number of years, there was one thing missing, tax incentives. But now those have been restored and industry professionals say it's already beginning to make a positive difference. For me, as a content uh, provider or maker, um, these are, this is wonderful. And it's over here in New Jersey where there's plenty of free parking. Gary Donatelli, a former longtime director of the soap opera One Life to Live, is talking about New Jersey's new tax incentive program. The Garden State Film and Digital Media Jobs Act was signed into law by Governor Phil Murphy on July 3rd and took effect immediately. The five-year program sets aside up to $75 million in production tax credits annually for qualifying film and TV production shot in the Garden State. It's a serious tax credit program, and the, the appetite of, of the industry to work here is enormous. We are overwhelmed with uh, applications uh, that are about to come in, and uh, we even have shooting you know, going on even now, and, and it will continue throughout the fall to the early winter, and 2019 should be very, very busy. While the news is exciting, it's not the first time New Jersey has offered tax incentives to encourage film and TV productions. We did have a tax credit program uh, that began in 2006. Uh, it was slated to end in 2016, that's when it sunset, but we actually ran out of tax credits before then. It was a very modest program, $10 million a year program, but even with that program we were able to bring in some independent features and a couple of television series. Gorlick says the money ran out around 2012, leading producers to pack up shop and shoot their projects in neighboring states that offer incentives, such as New York. Lawmakers like Senate Majority Leader Loretta Weinberg and Assemblyman Gordon Johnson say they've been working hard to get New Jersey's program restored. They say the new law, which offers more robust credits, is a huge win for the entire state. We have something like 40,000 craftspeople who live in New Jersey, set decorators, location experts. If those people go to work in New York or Georgia or any place else, they pay their income taxes to those states. If a movie or a production is shot in New Jersey, not only do the, um, the uh, actors and the production people uh, benefit from it and make money from it, but also that goes down to those folk, folks supporting the, uh, the, the set. In other words, you gotta, they, they have to eat. So there will be uh, the restaurants make money, the, uh, the hardware stores, they got to you know, buy stuff for the set and what have you. So it's, it helps small business at, uh, in the area. Under the new program, motion picture and television shows that meet in-state spending requirements are eligible for tax credits ranging from 30 to 35 percent, with the 35 percent incentive reserved for productions in certain southern counties. Projects with a diversity program can receive an extra 2 percent boost. While up to $75 million has been designated annually for film and TV credits, an additional $10 million is available to assist digital media projects, which may qualify for a 20 to 25 percent credit. We have a component for both union work and the non-union digital media work. So we've we're, we're got a foothold in the present, and um, we are looking toward the future of, of, um, of digital media. Over in Fort Lee, the birthplace of the motion picture industry, officials believe the incentives will breathe new life into the borough's star-studded past, which dates back to 1907 when Thomas Edison's film company shot Rescued from an Eagle's Nest. By 1910, the first studio was built, and by 1915, we had 17 working studios in Fort Lee. Everybody in Fort Lee worked for the motion picture industry. Uh, they uh, let schools out during the day. My grandmother was one of the kids where they made a dollar a day and got a box lunch uh, when they were shooting big scenes. 
While the studios did leave the borough, Meyer says when the incentives were in effect, Fort Lee experienced a renaissance with Law and Order Special Victims Unit frequently shooting in the area. But now things are looking up once again. In fact, soon there will be a brand new reason for producers and many others to stop by. This after officials broke ground on the state-of-the-art Barrymore Film Center on October 3rd. That's right. The Film Center is expected to open in the late fall of 2019 and will feature a 250-seat cinema and a 2,500-square-foot museum, showcasing world and, of course, Fort Lee's cinema history. It will also host festivals, movie screenings, student filmmaker boot camps, and perhaps even be the site of some new action. We Hope to get uh, location uh, filming in Fort Lee, both television production and theatrical. Uh, and we will open the space of the museum if uh, people are looking for a cinema to shoot in. Absolutely, we encourage that. In the meantime, don't be surprised to find your streets serving as backdrops for productions. In Fort Lee, this is Sherry Carabin reporting for Jersey Matters. Hello.